सर्वसंव्यवहारांशिकाधसे यदीतुत्द शून्यता प्रतिबाधसे सर्वसंव्यवहारांशिकाधसे यदीतुत्द Shunyatam Pratibhadase MMK chapter 24 verse 36 Again, you negate all human efforts in the world when you negate dependence arising, when you negate emptiness. So the context is that uh, in in verse 6 the opponent concluded by uh, accusing Nagarjuna of negating, first of all, Palasadbhavam, the real existence of the fruits, and Adharmam Dharma Mevacha, bad conduct uh, and good conduct too. So the previous verse, the previous verses, uh, Nagarjuna's refuted that accusation and uh, the end of verse 6 the uh, opponent says sarva samvyavaharamscha laukikan pratibhada say you negate all human efforts in the world so uh, in this verse Nagarjuna is saying no it's you who negates all human efforts in the world when you negate emptiness so the the opponent's view is if everything was empty, it would mean that, that nothing mattered. You know, it's the it's the viewpoint of uh, somebody who's had a big disappointment in life. They think, uh, oh, nothing, nothing's important. Nothing's nothing really matters. Uh, that's how the opponent understands the teaching of emptiness, saying that nothing matters. And what Nagarjuna is explaining is because everything is empty. Everything is amenable to being made better by practice. That's the point. So it's, you could say it's an optimistic teaching, but it, it's not any kind of istic, it's not optimistic, it's not realistic. It's just, uh, it's just the truth. The truth is that there is no non-empty thing out there. Uh, that's just people how people conceive things to be, to be yeah. in Carlo Rovelli's terms, like stones. But the truth of it is, there are empty dharmas, empty happenings, which have a direction. For me, I can't help not relating it to. Uh, I can't help relating it to uh, what I understood from Alexander work that my previous conception of right posture as something like a stone was totally false. The true conception about right posture is there's no such thing as right posture. Practice is to point oneself or to allow oneself to be pointed in the right direction. And the right direction is primarily up. It's not, so uprightness is not a thing if you think of it as a thing, it leads to uptightness, speaking from bitter experience. Uprightness is a direction, that a way. In opposition to gravity, 1G, which is pulling us benevolently, that a way. So, working from the English, verse 36, again, cha. You negate pratibhadase, all human efforts in the world. All is sarva in the world, laukikan, human efforts, samvyavaharam. So, all human efforts in the world, sarva samvyavaharan, laukikan. Uh, 
when you negate pratibhadasi. So when you negate yat pratibhadasi. Yat is literally uh, which or in that. So uh, broadly it means when, when in that situation. So when yat pratibhada se when you negate pra, dependent arising pratitya samutpadam accusative singular utpada uh, masculine when you negate dependent arising yat pratitya samutpadam pratibhada se when you negate emptiness, shunyatam pratibhada se. Shunyatam, accusative singular feminine. Uh, so I understand here that pratitya samutpadam and shunyatam are two nouns in apposition. So pratitya samutpadam and shunyatam, dependent arising and emptiness, I think are synonymous. I think that's Nagarjuna's intention. So uh, to convey that sense, I translated Pratibhada say twice. Yat pratitya samutpadam shunyatam pratibhada say when you negate dependent arising, when you negate emptiness. Sarva sam vyavaharam cha lauki kan pratibhada say. Yat pratitya samutpadam shunyatam pratibhada se. Again, you negate all human efforts in the world when you negate dependent arising, when you negate emptiness. <laughs>